On the 11th of September, uh, you remember it, many people asked me, why doesn't God throw a lightning from heaven on Bin Laden? And I think in the whole world history, many people had the same question with Hitler, with Stalin, with Mao, and now all the terror in the world. Why doesn't God throw a lightning on the most evil people? This is a good question. Imagine God would do it. He would throw a lightning on Hitler, Jadom, he's gone, and Mao, Jadom, Stalin. We would maybe be very happy about this, but where shall God start and where shall he stop? Imagine that all the people from the whole world history would stand in one line, the most evil one on the right side and the best one on the left side, and everybody of us on his place and then God would start to throw lightnings. In the beginning, we would maybe be happy. Wonderful God, you are, you are good, you are helping us. But what are you doing when the lightning is coming closer to you? The question is, why should God stop in front of you? Have you never used a lie? Have you never stolen something? These are only two laws. The point is, we think we are so much better than all the other people. We don't deserve any punishment. We are comparing our life very often only with the most evil one. Yes, right. Then you will realize there are many people in the world they are much more terrible than I am or you are. But why are we not able to compare ourselves with the left side, with those who are better than we? There are maybe many, many others. We have a problem. We are not righteous. We are self-righteous. We think we are better than the most evil ones. And this is why God cannot have a problem with me. But this is an illusion. When we ask for God righteousness as that he shall throw a lightning, then we must realize we are gone. The whole line is gone. Because in the Bible standing, we are sinners. We have lost the glory of God. God has created us to live in harmony with him, but we are fallen. We are far away from God's standard, but we don't realize it because we compare ourselves with the evil ones. Imagine God would do it. He would throw a lightning. Imagine he would say, be careful, the whole world the lightning is coming. One, two, three. Jadom. We would maybe all look on the right side to the most evil one. But you will wonder because the lightning is crashing on the left side. God is beating the best one. Only one lightning. And maybe you ask, what is going on now? Is God righteous? That he is beating the best one? Yes, look to the left side. Who is the best one in the whole line? It is Jesus Christ and he's hanging on the cross. He's suffering there. And why? Because he has taken the lightning on himself. He took the punishment on himself. We have sinned the whole line of humanity. We have sinned, but Jesus took the punishment on himself. What does God want with this? He wants us to turn around. He wants us to look on the left side. Don't compare yourself all the time with the evil ones on the right side and think I am a little bit better than those people. Compare yourself with Jesus Christ and you realize how far away you are. Paul says, I am the worst case of all the sinners. And why can he say this? because he turned around, he looked on Jesus, He's, he has forgotten all the people behind him. He is comparing himself with Jesus Christ. And from this perspective, he's the last in a line with many better people and in the front is Jesus Christ, the best of them all. What does God want of us? He wants us to change. Look on Jesus, compare yourself with him, take your orientation in him. But the most important point is, leave your place in the line. Come out of this line, go to Jesus. What we need is forgiveness of our sin. Jesus died for you. He took the punishment on himself. 
because God does, doesn't want us to get what we deserve. Look what the Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 18. For Christ also suffered once for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God. Here is standing, the just was suffering for the unjust, for you and for me. And the aim is to bring us to God. You can repent to God, you can come as you are, leave your line, come to God, ask for forgiveness and start to live in harmony with God.